Production of the fourth generation sedan began in September 2006. In June 2007, a coupe was launched into the series. After two years, a convertible was introduced. Initially, the sedan was offered with a 3.5-liter engine with a 5-speed automatic transmission or a 6-speed manual transmission. The coupe was equipped with a 3.7-liter engine with the same choice of gearboxes. For versions with a manual transmission, there was a sports package. Since 2009, a 3.7-liter engine has been installed on the sedan. In the same year, the 5-speed automatic transmission was replaced with a 7-speed one. At the end of 2010, 2.5-liter engine began to be offered for the sedan. Wheel dimension, 225-55-R17, 245-45-R18 suspension, independent, double lever spring in front and multi-link rear brakes, ventilated disc. In November 2009, a restyled sedan was introduced. The car received a new grill and a bumper with fog lights. In July 2010, an updated coupe and convertible were introduced. A compact prestige car produced by Nissan's Infiniti division since 1990. So, sparingly and boringly, the dispassionate Wikipedia characterizes G. However, if the electronic encyclopedia were able to ride behind the wheel of an honest right-hand drive 280 horsepower Nissan Skyline, the progenitor of G of some, say, 2000 model year, we are sure that there would be much brighter epithets for the note. Nissan marketers came up with the letter G to bring a premium version of their compact under the Infiniti brand to the North American market. And since 2007, the brand officially came to Russia, including with the G35 model, built on a modernized FM platform. About a year later, the car received a new V6, boosted to 333 horsepower with a volume of 3.7 liters, instead of a 3.5 liter 315 horsepower V6 and the tandem power unit of the G37 model was a 6-speed mechanics or a 7-speed automatic. The drive was rear, but as an option they offered not only all-wheel drive, but also a fully controlled chassis with rear-wheel thrusters. Main pair the characteristics of both engines are able to satisfy the highest ambitions, not only in terms of dynamics. Engines of this type are used on many Infiniti models and have proven themselves well in operation. In fact, for the smooth operation of the V6, it is enough to regularly visit a service, preferably a specialized one, for a timely oil change. Poor oil quality here is one of the main causes of malfunctions. An engine repair in this case far exceeds the cost of its regular maintenance. The motors are reliable, however, from the characteristic problems, possible malfunctions of the fuel system can be noted, caused by the corrosion vulnerability of the contact group of the Lambda probes, or which additional insulation may be recommended. The 5-speed automatic transmission with manual control features high functionality. The box is fast and at the same time reliable. Its repair is possible only in cases of violation of the operating regulations. The oil in the box must be changed at least every 60,000 kilometers. In addition, it is worth regularly monitoring for possible transmission oil leaks. Independent front and rear suspensions deftly muffle even significant road irregularities that only make themselves felt at high speeds. At the same time, the complexity of the design provokes possible maintenance problems and requires regular visits to the service. Nevertheless, it may be necessary to purchase new hubs and front stabilizer struts only after 80,000 km of run, and ball bearings live up to 100,000 km. The ventilated disc brakes are extremely efficient, so if you don't feel the deafening power and braking speed under the brake pedal, it could be a sign of a problem. Servicemen, by the way, noted isolated cases of treatment about the incorrect operation of ABS. After 100,000 kilometers, according to the owners, a knock may appear in the steering rack. However, the problem is not critical. With it, the car can be operated for quite a long time. There are no special claims to the electrics, despite the fact that the car is pretty stuffed with electronic systems. Is that the already mentioned nuance with the contacts of oxygen sensors? Otherwise, the problems of electrical equipment are more likely to be associated with inaccurate operation. Thus, we can safely recommend a used Infiniti G for purchase, and in any modification. A fast and sturdy car loses yen very slowly, maintaining a high residual value. And hefty price tags in the service, at the officials, will be compensated by the high reliability built into the car. In this case, timely prevention of malfunctions is the best recipe to save on maintenance body. 
In terms of corrosion, it is impossible to make serious claims to the G-body. At the moment, fourth-generation cars still, as they say, have not bloomed. However, prudent owners often have to restore the front fenders and the edge of the hood. The paintwork is not strong enough to seriously resist the inevitable chipping from solid particles. Transmission. If the liquid level in the cooling system exceeds the maximum, and the liquid itself is brown, this is a reason to suspect the penetration of liquid from the transmission, which may result in the failure of an expensive automatic transmission. When buying a car, on a warm car, you should sequentially move the automatic transmission lever to all positions, lingering for a few seconds on each. The shocks speak of the agony of the automatic transmission, and then it is better to refuse to buy. Engine. The cooling system is considered the most problematic note so you should not only carefully keep an eye on the level of the coolant and monitor its condition, but also periodically flush the radiator with the high-pressure water jet. On a cold engine, the level of antifreeze should be at the minimum mark, on a hot one, at the maximum. If there are no leaks, you need to periodically add fluid as it evaporates.